Good morning, guys. Welcome to just what is the day? Today's Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday. It is show week for us. I'm so excited. But you know what? This is the first week that we're gonna show and maybe not have any friends at the show because the friends that we show with have other plans. It's actually freezing outside. What the heck? I was freezing inside, so I came outside just to get warm and it's freezing outside. It's warm in the sun. It's fall, you guys. This is fall. Fall is my favorite. But anyway, back to the show. So I don't think our friends are gonna get to show with us. There's a slight chance, but I'm pretty sure they're not gonna get to go to the show with us. And this will be the first time we've been to a show by ourselves in a really long time. Everybody that we used to show with doesn't show anymore. Doesn't show any, like only one person. Kaylee still shows, but she shows at different shows than we show at. And I mean, one of them is kind of the same, but it's not this show. And we're gonna be alone at the show. Uh, like Shayla doesn't show anymore. Um, Elizabeth isn't showing right now. She's working on some stuff with her horror. Like all of our friends don't show anymore. It's crazy. Like all the older ones, like Gabby's age, they just don't even ride anymore. So yeah, it's sad, it's sad that things have to change. I loved it when we were this big, huge group at the barn and we were all showing together and we all supported one another and we all watched each other's kids. Like that was so much fun for me, but Anyway, welcome to show week. So I'm just gonna have a lesson. We're gonna go check on her in a few minutes. I still need to fix up this mess. Do you think there's more eggs in there? There is? A lot. A lot? All those little monkeys. Our chickens have- I want her to stay and she stayed. I know. I she, didn't even teach her that. I know, she's a good puppy. I mean, this is creepy as heck. Like, why are you doing this? The only dog invited to lessons. My teeth are probably chocolate. The only dogs invited to lessons today are little Kirby. I still can't believe that. Like, I don't have anything to do with the name of this puppy. Like, it's just shocking to me that we have a named puppy. <laughs> it was none of my business. I had nothing to do with it. Usually it's me that wants everything, all the animals, and this time it was all Sam. Listen, you're getting tangled up in your leash. Come here. Come here. Ugh. What in the world? Why do we even have to be on a leash? A. Eh? All right, Kirby is coming to lessons today so that she can do some training around the horses. Sophie will be on the horse, so I guess it'll be me training her. Just like to be comfortable around them and to be used to them running and moving and just to get acclimatized to the horses. This must be like retirement for her. Because like she probably got used like every day going on the road. This probably is like retirement for her. <laughs> Do you know that this is the only show that we won't have any friends with? Uh, with They're not going? I don't think they can go. They've got a bunch of stuff happening. When we'll be all by ourselves. And it's a long show. How do you feel about that? It's a long show? Well, you have two large divisions. Well, it's going to be the same as last time. Yeah, we'll be home by two. Yeah, it didn't move that slowly last time. I know, but you were going to be by yourself. How do you feel about that? peace and quiet it's not the same all your friends and all of our friends and families have all grown up and moved on you're the last one you're the last one out of our group well i don't care i'm gonna keep showing her she's gonna keep showing she says she doesn't care it's her thing she's gonna keep showing i'm excited like i feel like sophie's just coming really coming into herself as a horse girl whereas gabby just kind of started to go out of her horse girl era when she's turned 15. Like, I feel like she started to slow down. I feel like Sophie's just picking up now. It's different for everyone, but comment below, what age did you get into horses? Oh, I got nice. Grooming gloves on? Nice scratchy gloves? Yeah. Do you think she grew? Yeah. In a week, we've had her for a week now, and she's, I seem, think she's grown so much taller. This is her show prep lesson. I'm excited. We're going to see what she can do. She has another show after this, and there's also a championship show, but you have to be able to have shown two times in the series, and we've only done once. This will be our second time, and you have to be top five in the class, and the classes was classes were like 17 and 12 or something. like what they're fifth and second. Yeah, Sophie got a fifth and a second in the walk trot poles on her first show. So she does better 
this show, it's possible she can make it to the championship show. And also it depends on like who's gonna go and who's not gonna go. So if like a lot of people that placed higher than her aren't able to go to the championship show, then maybe she could get in. I don't know, we're not like, holding out hope and it doesn't matter if she gets to go it would be fun to go it doesn't matter though she likes belly ribs. all right get get ready missy so sophie's gonna ride in all her show tack today just so that we can make sure everything is good and everything is the way like last time we ended up at the show and the half pad made just that little bit more bulk and i could tell that she was like not loving it and by the time we got there and she was already in the show and we discovered it Nobody would listen to me, so we're gonna try and work that out now before we get to the show so that I don't have to deal with it then. But I'm gonna go get something to eat because I can feel my blood sugar dropping. Sophie, I'm gonna leave you here with the horse and the puppy. Starting fresh is actually really cool. So Sophie already achieved so much in her riding journey with Finn when she had her first pony. And now she's starting all fresh again with a new horse that needs to be trained in the same discipline that she wants to ride. And it's kind of been exciting and it's been really fun. That's one thing that I really like about riding is that every time you change horses, you start fresh again and it's amazing. Kirby found her spot. Dad's gotten to get coffee for you. You wanna take care of the puppy? Puppy! <laughs> she's like, yes, yes, let me have some Gabby time. <laughs> I feel like I'm the least close with the puppy and I love the puppy. I just have no time for a puppy. Hence why I didn't get a puppy. Are cutting They're cutting down trees in the next yard over. Fun, fun. <laughs> fun for riding. But you know what? She's got to get acclimatized to this. I'm sure being in her old life, she's heard people cutting down trees before. I hear it. Listen, do you guys hear it? I hear the sound of a little pig. <laughs> she makes me so happy. I gotta go see if I can get her in here. I didn't bring any treats for her. But isn't that amazing? Like, I don't even know where she was that she can hear me. She's getting a little chunky for the for the gate now. She can't get through. Come on. She tries though. Come on. She gets some through some gate. Over here, Porky. <laughs> Over here. You can't, she's trying to push through there. Come here, look. There, come on. There you go. My little piggy girl. It's actually really fun that all these animals come to riding lessons. They just show up on their own. We got a doggy. Gabby, you're not taking care of the dog very well. Come on, Curbs. Oh, be nice to my pig. Gabby says she doesn't like her. I like her. Sophie didn't really want a pig either. And now Sophie loves her. Look how long her body has gotten. Like it is so long. Holy moly. Yeah, Gabby, Sophie said that up the other day and it was so good. She actually is doing really good. She's never done poles before and she's getting it really good. Did you touch like almost every single one of those? <laughs> she does better at a trot. <laughs> I have no, tr uh, usually I bring treats to lessons. I got nothing today. Let her get that, let the puppy get used to a posy. The Millie, the Minnie is so jealous. Here she goes again. She's slowing down though. So Sylvie just had the best bre bre the best breaking lesson with that horse. So we tried riding in the show pad that we have for the show. And instantly she's like, nope, this is not right. This is not right. I could tell at the show she was trying to tell me. But so I adjusted the half pad and to see if that would help. She still hated the show pad. We took the show pad off instant instant change just like the other day when we fixed the, the saddle after we had the saddle fitter out like it's like night and day it's so she's a different horse 
Literally the problem with this farm is that you have to walk far to get everywhere. And it's not like so far you need a four wheeler, it's just that you have to walk. Oh, Winston. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that horse. Like, I can't believe we got that horse. Like Brandon is amazing that he even gave us an opportunity with that horse. Like she's the horse and not only is she the horse, but now that we got the saddle fixed, She's a, she's amazing. Like the whole lesson, she was dropping her head and relaxing and stretching down, and it was like instant as soon as we got the saddle, the right fit for the saddle. Sometimes my pig will dump the water, so I have to come down and refill it so that they don't get hot. Because when it's super hot out like this, well, it's not so super hot, but when it's hot out and sunny, I always want to make sure that she has water and him too. Well. I've just seen the boy pig drink from the water bucket for the first time. He can reach it, so that's good. That means I don't have to fill up his little one all the time. I bring this little bucket outside every single day for him. And it's a ton of work. Oh, he emptied it. Oh, man, and I filled up this pool today too. There's a hole in it somewhere. There has to be. I know there's a tiny hole. It's literally so warm outside now. Like not like a heat wave like it's been, but it's actually so super warm. But Lady, it was so good and Honey, it was so jealous, you guys. I can't even tell you how jealous Honey was. Like the trainer, everybody was just laughing hysterically at Honey because she was so mad. And it's not that she wants to like go underneath the fence and just go in there, which she does like to do that. But she wants to be with Sophie. After Sophie was done riding, we went up into the barn and we could tell where Sophie was because Honey was right next to her but through the fence. So she was up in the barn right next to where Sophie was. Like she gets so jealous and she wants Sophie for herself. Also the baby puppy didn't only made like a quarter of the lesson. She's black and it was hot and we were in the sun. So we sent her back with Sam. I'm gonna go fill up Posey's pool because she empties it each day now. But it's warm now and I just wanna make sure she has some place that she can get cooled down like Sophie was here standing here with lady when we came in and honey was standing right up against this fence obviously horses don't feel jealousy well actually it's not true I think they do feel jealousy I think most a lot of animals feel jealousy but not the way that we feel it she knew she wanted to be with Sophie all right let's fill this so this is what happens she climbs in and she, this is a dog pool, so she climbs in and then the side collapses and then she lets all the water out. But she needs water. So even if she just wastes it, it has to happen. Uh oh. She has another pool that she swims in. She goes down to the chicken area and she can go to both. But I don't like her to not be able to have her little pool in the afternoon, especially when it's hot. Also, now that Lady is starting her jumping, we didn't want to jump her until after we got the saddle fixed up, like actually like practice jumping. So now that we waited for the saddle fitter to arrive and they came, um, we're gonna have to get all of our jump standards up and put them out there so we can do like a full course. But what a great day, you guys. Like, what a great day. That was so much fun. I like it. That was such a fun lesson because Lady was doing so great. And also, because Honey was so funny. Um, anyways, I just see the possibilities between Lady and Sophie because they're building a relationship. And she's just so perfect. Don't you know that you